I wash my wife's dirty clothes. I clean after her family. I mean, why do I keep tolerating this humiliation despite being the richest guy in town? Uh, I got it. Got it, got it. Kevin, why don't you tell her that you're a billionaire now? I can't. I want to keep it as a secret. Kevin, enough talking. You said you would help me. Sorry, I'll be in a minute. You see? I gotta go. And don't forget about the dishes, Cinderella! <laughs> Bye. Finally. The dishes won't wash themselves, Kevin. My shirt got dirty, I had to get changed. But don't, don't worry, I'll clean everything up. Wow, thank you so much. Actually, you've been living in this house for two years. But washing dishes makes up for it. Sometimes I just want to tell Dorothy that I haven't been just living in this house for two years. I've paid rent, I've fixed up the whole house, but I cannot tell the truth because it might upset Lily and I don't want her mother to hate me even more. So, thank you, Mom, for doing so much for me and Lily. And if there is anything I can do in return, please just tell me. And I will tell you, Kevin. Maybe you can start making some money. My daughter could have married someone else, but for some reason, she chose you. Well, I will work very hard to show her how much I love her, and one day, trust me, I'll be worthy of her. I have many doubts about that. And our biggest mistake is that we didn't get you to sign a prenup. Yes, we don't want you to get a half of her real estate. I would never do such a thing. I would make it right. You know, my husband will kill me for saying that, but I really hope you do. But how? Believe me, I've changed. How so? I've become a billionaire. <gasps> Thank you for the coffee, son. Hi, honey. Oh, hi, dear. Every time I look at Lily, I get goosebumps. Of course, she's beautiful, but that's not the main reason why I love her. She's the most determined person I know. She has made her way from an assistant to a CEO of the company in just a few years. She's unbelievable. Hey, Kevin. Hi, Rachel. Good to see you. Nice shirt. I got messy when I was washing the dishes. Wow, it's so nice. Because in my house, we just pay someone to do it for us, but Not wow. everyone is born rich like you, Rachel. Some people have to achieve it. And some people have to try harder, but it's worth it. I feel guilty for hiding my past from Lily. She doesn't even know that I was born with one of the richest families. You see, I didn't want her to marry me for my money, <laughs> but, ironically enough, on our wedding day, I have lost everything. You see, that day I called my grandfather to make him happy. But he interrupted me and scolded me for putting my entire trust fund into Orient stock, which has fallen in value. Then my grandpa kicked me out of the family. And now, Orient stock has brought in more money than my family could ever imagine. I am the richest person I know. But how can I tell my wife about that? She still thinks I'm an unemployed idiot. No offense, but Rachel's right. <laughs> you really look terrible. Go to clean yourself up. Rachel doesn't know what kind of a person I've become. Ah? Huh? But what kind of person have you become? I have become a billionaire.
You will find out soon enough. I don't know how you put up with this. I mean, you're the boss of the big company and he's just pathetic. He's like before pictures in the commercials. Why are you with him? He wasn't always like that. When we first met, he was charming and confident. And I hope that if I'm with him, that Kevin will come back. I love the man he used to be. But do you love him now? I don't know what to say. Right now, I feel like a babysitter in our relationship. And I realized that if I talk to him, I would lose him completely. I cherish him, but I'm not sure if I really love him now. Look, honey, you could have any man you wanted. You don't have to be with someone just because you feel sorry for him. Okay? Okay, I don't want to talk about it. I have enough problems at work. What's going on at work? We got a contract last month and there was a mistake in the calculations. Our product, we didn't meet the requirements, so now we have to pay 7 million compensation. Wow. Yes. And now I have to find 4 million investments by the end of the week. Otherwise, we'll probably go bankrupt. And how are you gonna do that? Lily? Kevin, me and Rachel, we need some privacy. Just when I got a chance to help my beloved wife and become the man she always wanted. Grandpa? Kevin, I was wrong about you. Your family needs you. I know about your success with the stocks, and we need your money to save the family. Hello, could you check balance on my account? Right away, sir. I'm sorry, sir. It seems that your account has such a huge balance that our computer can't process it. You'll have to come in in person. Your computer cannot process it? Yes, that's the first time in my practice. You are the richest client I've ever worked with. Thank you for using our bank. How pathetic are you? <laughs> Lily, do you hear that? Your husband is calling to check his bank balance. Rachel, please. I didn't want to use straw, but I heard that your company is in trouble. I can help to work it out. <sighs> Kevin. You? Help. You know, she needs four million dollars. Four million dollars. Just remember this moment, because later on I'm gonna enjoy saying, I told you so. You're worthless. What can you do at all? You know nothing about me. I. I actually became a billionaire. But I can't tell her. I'm gonna finish washing the dishes. Rachel. Mm. <laughs>
That's exactly what I wanted. Well, what can I say? I'm a good guesser. Bradley, but that's incredibly expensive. Come on. Nothing is too expensive for a woman like you. It's a fake. What? I know what kind of necklace Lily wants, and it's a fake. How can someone like you know that? Kevin, Bradley just wants to make me feel good. You're right, as always. Can I have a look at it? Sure. What a beautiful, stunning necklace. Kevin, what have you done? I just proved that it's a fake. A real one would never break. You're gonna pay for it. You're like a, like a beggar. Oh yeah, and you, you. Please, Kevin, stop it. It's my last chance. Please go home, and don't forget about the meeting this evening. If only Lily knew that I am the Williams of the Williams Company, and Bradley, he's just an ordinary employee. Here. Buy yourself a proper suit. Keep it. I can afford it. How's that? With my own money? Uh, I can't say. Okay. I'm gonna go to work. Uncle Thomas. Oh, Kevin, dear. So glad to see you. Unfortunately, your grandfather can't be here, so he asked me to meet you. Oh, you look so much better than the last time we met. That vacation has done you wonders. Oh, so now we call it that vacation? I want you to know, I never meant for that to happen. It was terrible. I'm not here to talk about the past. Let's cut to the chase. How much money does the Williams family need? Oh, yes, you're right. So maybe first coffee or tea? Hmm? Well, Kevin, it's not a lot of money, really. Just uh, eight billion dollars. <laughs> Eight billion. I got kicked out for investing a lot less. Oh, Kevin, I'm sorry we were wrong. It turns out that your bad investment is just only one thing can save our family dynasty. So please, can you lend us eight billion? I forgot about urgent business. I'll find the way out. Kevin, without that money, our family dynasty will be destroyed. Kevin, I'm begging you. You're the only one who can save our family empire. I already told you our people uh, fulfill two requests you mentioned. Kevin, you can't live like that. I do anything you want. Uncle, it's not that I don't want to help you, but I don't think I have that kind of money. Ah, I get it. <laughs> Are you going to pretend to be a fool? Haven't you ever checked the value of your stock? Hmm? Grandfather and I know that even 2% of your stock is worth at least $9 billion. Even now, during our conversation, the value keeps going up. Kevin, please, listen to your conscience. You're a part of the William family. That legacy is also yours, that I try to protect. Oh, yeah? Did you think about my legacy when I got kicked out of the family? Why should I care about it now? 
I have a wife. Did you know about that? I got married the day you kicked me out of the family. I'm a son-in-law in another family, so why should I show my loyalty to you? But, Kevin... If you didn't go bankrupt, you wouldn't even remember about me. You left me to die, so why should I bring you back to life? All right. All right. I know what we did. That's wrong. I apologize to you and the whole family. Yes, we messed up with everything. I can diminish that. But Kevin, I'm begging you. You need the family. William's legacy will fall apart without your help. And what can you do in return? I'm listening. Oh, for example, can you find a dream lover necklace? Dream lover necklace? I guess our people can handle it. As I said before, I'll make you also the head of um, Williams Media. Williams Media is your wife's company. Why are you so confident in giving out other people's things for your own profit? Ah, <laughs> she'd, she'd be just happy to give this job away. Well, anyway, you know how big this company is, correct? You know what celebrities we work with? It will be... All yours. How about that? I'll accept your terms, but only with one condition. What condition? You know, Bradley? My assistant. Fire him. All right, no problem. Are we good? So, we have a deal. Yeah, we have a deal. Thank you very much. You... I can't... I can't even describe how much it means to the habit. Exactly. The family. And that's one thing we learned today, that family is above money. Yeah. I got it. Uh, I wasn't lying. I'm actually late for my high school reunion. Bye. Kevin? I have a serious question to you. I prepared the coffee, sorry, it's already cold. Okay, um, you and Lily are already married for almost two years, right? Correct. And you still have no children? What's your point? Darling, is there any genetic problem in your family? Or maybe you're infertile? No, <laughs> my family is healthy and I've never heard about any genetic diseases. Great, prove it. I need medical report that you and your family are healthy. I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> A medical examination is just a waste of money. I'm not accepting no as an answer. Maybe I should I tell her? I want you your family to be examined. Or it's a money question again. No, money is not a question anymore. Mom, let it be our secret, okay? Thank you for the coffee. No thanks, I'm driving. OMG, Kevin Kev! Is that you, man? Tucker, <laughs> you haven't tasted the day. I'll just say I got lucky, huh? That's great to hear. Yeah, and I bet that awful pickup truck up front belongs to you, huh? Well, that's the first ever thing I bought with my own money. Ooh, okay, that's a good story. <laughs> so let's go to the others. Let's see who is aging the worst, huh? <laughs> Damn! Hey! <laughs> Tucker! Look who we got here. Our little Kevy Kev's all grown up, huh? Wow! The biggest underdog at school. Oh. Damn. Oh. Hello, guys! Oh, pretty! pretty. <laughs> Oops! I did it again! <laughs> 
You remember me? You haven't changed at all, Tucker. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> and what do you do for a living, huh? Oh, I just signed up a new agency. Come on, which one? Williams Media! <laughs> Should I tell her that she works for me now? <laughs> Great choice. And you? Um, I think your name is Kevin. Yeah, it's Kevin. You look so awful. Maybe you are homeless? This is her last working day. Kevin doesn't like taking shower. Oh. Very much, Brittany. Oh, I can't breathe near him. Oh. Mm. Oh. <laughs> oh, poor guy. Oh, no. What? Kevin! Oh, I'm so happy to see you! My oh. God. Ladies. Oh. Don't mind them. Brittany is just the kind of girl you get close to. Blah, 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 blah. Shelly, go get a drink. Sorry, I need to answer that. Okay, okay, I'll wait Excuse here. Me. Just don't forget to get back, Kev. Hey, honey. Hey, Kevin. Can you pick me up from the work in an hour? We'll go to the party soon. Sure, of course. Don't forget it's you. See you. Sure. We'll see you in a bit. Uh, Lily! Yes? Uh, my boss asked me to give you this. Beautiful, Lily. Thanks, Mom. And I think that you're gonna shine bright in this necklace today. I'm ready. Whoa, Kevin. That's not a bad suit. And finally, you're dressed like a man. Mom. <laughs> and I bought it myself. Really? So, it suits you? And I'm surprised. Well, there'll be some more surprises. For example, who paid for Lily's necklace? I don't want to be late. Let's hurry up. I'll be in a minute. Okay. My dear friends, I am so glad to see you. <laughs> I love you. I... Dorothy, my love. You look gorgeous, my love. Mm -hmm. And Lily, of course. And um, Kevin. Yes, Kevin, hi. You know, um, it is not very often that we get to see you in your normal clothes. <laughs> You know, this suit looks familiar. I have seen the same one mall for sale. Did you buy a proper suit? I didn't want to pay for it. He didn't want to pay for it. <laughs> uh, let me guess. I think that the owner saw how pathetic you were and decided to give it to you for free right away. <laughs> Lily, my love, you know, uh, my clothes cost approximately 20 grand. And this is from the very famous designer. And your dress looks very cheap. I think it's time. 